everyone. Happy 2021. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for joining us again. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like down at the bottom of the screen. Uh, so this is really a 2020 year in review video and then what our plans are for 2021 as far as what we're going to be filming and what to expect. And so uh, we have four questions for a year in review and then we have four that we're going to talk about for 2021. So the first one was what, are, what, what were our favorite moments from 2020? One really good moment was when we picked up Ellie. The second one is really... Henry eating cake anytime he's eating cake because it's pretty funny. Yeah. And then my third one, Christmas was fun. Well, we lost power, so that was. So that's some of your your favorite moments. Well, not that's not my power. favorite part of Christmas. Christmas in general was yeah. great. Um, but yeah, some interesting fun facts about Christmas is we lost power. We had everything set up. We had music like, going. We had the fire going. It was really nice. The lights were all on. And then... You're just... Or, or Henry's just waking up or yeah, something. Yeah. And then we were all set up to go to bring him downstairs and we lost power. So he... He wasn't too big on opening the gifts that Santa brought him. Yeah, well, I don't think he understood. He, he didn't quite grasp the concept, but then when he went over to the other side of the house, yeah. he had more of a concept of what gifts were, so he really enjoyed opening those gifts. He's and a then, quick learner. Yeah, and then when his <laughs> great-grandparents showed up with two ginormous boxes, thank you, Peggy and Pepper, by the way, if you're watching this, uh, he was very excited. One of them was a slide which that was definitely a cool moment because yeah. he loves the slide and he loves it now still. And then they got him a bike that's a convertible bike. So it, you push him like a stroller in it, but then like the foot pads come off and he has wheels and it basically turns into a tricycle. So mm -hmm. that's been really fun to push him around the house in. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, getting the edition basically finished. Right, we really huge. haven't even talked about the edition on the channel. Oh. Uh, I guess, yeah, your parents live with us, so, um, they, we have, like, a little apartment above the garage where they currently stayed, um, or where they stayed previously, or now your sister is staying. Yeah. Um, and in the meantime, since they were, like, kind of sure they were, they wanted to stay in the area, there wasn't really too much in the area for them to pick, um, so we came up with some plan, um, how to attach it to the house, and now they have an addition. And now it's like, okay, we actually have our own space. Yep. Like, it actually feels separated. Before, they'd have to come down and cook stuff in here. And, um, I mean, not that it was a big deal. It was fun yeah. when it was going on. But then, as soon as they had their own space, it was, like, weird. It was like, yeah. oh, this is Oddly it's quiet. like space again. And it's nice because the way it's set up, it's that they're not right next to us in the addition we went yeah there's like a little hallway there's that a nice little first. yeah hallway corridor that you have to go through to get to their part of the house but it's all attached and you don't have to go outside to get to their house which is nice too especially with henry running back and forth so yeah it's it, it's really worked out so that's a good one i know it's good uh being able to clear out the garage yeah because that was the other thing when which it, that kind of went hand in hand with the addition i use that space i think yeah, we've shown a couple of videos. Yeah. It was a little, you know, doing any sort of project in there was kind of a hassle. Um, and now it's like, okay, I forgot that there's this, <laughs> this big space, space that I can actually do stuff. With. Seeing Henry, anytime I see him, like, learn something. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, yeah. So, what did we think was the worst part of 2020? And I, I definitely think it was COVID. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, and all the trip canceling the, the trip cancellations that we had to do that that definitely hindered so many it canceled a lot of things it skewed a lot of things i are we in agreement that covid's probably the worst part of 2020 i mean yeah i don't know how you can really argue anything different, different yeah. um and i would say that kind of rolls into the next question which was were there any unexpected good surprises and the good thing is that we really personally were not affected by it yeah but we got a lot more time at home which was really well, nice position that can literally work from anywhere yeah um so that was an unexpected good surprise and i would say ellie was an unexpected good surprise because we really did not think we were going to get a puppy until his first birthday but then when COVID hit and we found out i was going to be home yeah, you're gonna be home a lot of 
It was weird. Did, I'm trying to remember exactly how we moved up the list so fast. Yeah, a lot of people deferred. So when we got Ellie, we went with a hypoallergenic dog because my dad is allergic to non-hypoallergenic dogs. So they and have to be able to... chance that Henry was going to be allergic. Right. To we we wanted sure. to be safe and get a hypoallergenic. So we found this incredible breeder down in Rhode Island that does sheep doodles And we were number like 40-something on the list. And... So that seemed to be like a couple litters or, you know, yeah. basically another year or something like that. And when we found out I was going to be home a lot, I actually reached out to her like about two or three weeks before Ellie was born. And I said, hey, just as a heads up, I'm going to be working from home. So if on the off chance we move up to list, you know, just let me know because we definitely want to take a puppy. We went from number like 41 to number four and ended up getting Ellie surprises for 2020. Um, I mean, neither of us lost our job, so that's always good. Yeah, that's good. Not personally being impacted by COVID-19. It's a good surprise. Yep. Anything we wished we did in 2020? I wish I, mean, I went to Disney. Aside from traveling and stuff? Yeah. I mean, other than not going to Disney in September like we were supposed to. I mean, yeah, and December. Basically anything remotely social would be would fall into that. Yeah, category. I wish we had more social. I am happy we were able to do a little birthday party for Henry. and. Yep. We were able to have a, a good Christmas, but yeah, I miss traveling. Uh, so our 2021 goals, um, are, do we have any home improvement plans for 2021? Yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> um, we are just trying to organize how we're gonna do home improvement plans and what we're gonna do. We have some big home improvement projects that we're not sure if we're gonna actually be able to do this year. Um, because it's a big undertaking, but we might try to get a couple of small things done. Um, our laundry room needs a revamp, and there's just a couple of things. Yeah, you can go first. What's your personal improvement plan for 2021? Um, I mean, I, I, I gotta get back eating healthy. I'm assuming that that's what that's about. Yeah. Like, not, okay. Yeah. Um, I gotta make to the gym a bit more. I kind of, like, put off a lot of that because of the, um, well, not really COVID, but, um, schedule just wise. schedule, but I was, I was doing a lot of stuff here. I was painting things. I was, yeah. you know, building a couple different things. So, um, yeah. And since you were going in the mornings, it was difficult for me to do that. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm happy that you're going back and stuff too. So that's really good. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. I mean, my personal improvement plan, uh, staying at the gym. <laughs> And then I recently took up rock climbing. So I get into a normal routine with that and I wanna go back to doing archery. I stopped after Henry was born and it was more because I, I was breastfeeding and it was hard. And what are our travel plans for 2021? So currently we are slated to go to Disney in September, um, which was our original trip this year. Uh, the plan is to go with our friends Kelly and Max and take Henry and hopefully experience food and wine and hopefully do the Halloween activities. Um, if, you know, if those are not up and running, will it influence our decision to go in September? Probably not because we you just, we just want to go at this yeah. point. Um, so that is a plan for 2021. And that's, yeah. that is really the only trip we have booked and ready to go. Yeah. We might do some local stuff. We talked about um, if Storyland opens up in New Hampshire, we may venture there. Sure. Um, we'll, we'll probably take Henry back to Santa's Village because he'll definitely like it more now that he's a little bit older. And well, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking like four or a couple few a few months from now. Yeah. Because then he, whenever they open up again, I guess. Um, yeah, because the first time he was just kind of like, what's going on? Right. <laughs> I didn't quite understand. I was excited for it in 2021. Hopefully COVID goes away. Hopefully like people get vaccinated and things can go back to the way they were before. I don't want to say normal because I don't think anything's going to be 100% normal again. At least not this coming year. No, but if they can get back to a, a normal-ish jive where you're able to travel and if you want to be vaccinated, you can. Um, that, is, that is what I'm most mean. That and Henry going on to the next stage of his life. Becoming... Even oh, more, um, even more of a crazy toddler. I'm very, very excited for that. Yeah, that'll definitely be fun to see. Yeah. 
about you? What are you most excited for? Uh, yeah, certainly for Henry. Um, I'm excited to have my garage back so I can start building stuff again. Yeah, you have your whole new work table. And... Yeah. Um, I mean, well, yeah, you, your sister, your mom already lining up projects for me to do, so uh, I have my work cut out for me. <laughs> um, Wraps up basically our year in review for 2020 and then what our plans are for 2021. We're, we're very excited and hopeful for this year and uh, really looking forward to going to Disney and getting out of the house more. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, with us going back to the gym and getting into a normalish routine, it'll be nice. Yeah. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching and just make sure that you hit that subscribe button before you go and have so a map. Yeah, it's yeah. down there. And uh, have a magical day.